Let's go. Yeah, yeah. And we're back with unforgettable conversations. What's up, guys? Okay, I haven't been on in a, in a while. In a, in a while. But I love that the music's still the same. The, the music's oh, yeah. always going to be the same. I think Since, we just kind of made it just standard. Oh, yeah. It's going to stay that way forever now. That or you couldn't figure out how to. How to I, add sound. I don't know how to I don't know how to mess with the thing. No, but it works. I like it. It works, yeah. I like it. All right. So today we got Tim T back in the house. We got Donnie Darko and yours truly, Lido. Lido. In Lido's room. In Lido's room. It's a little room. Get it? It's a Lido's it's little room. It's Lido's room. Lido. Okay. So today we're gonna be actually talking to Tim since the last time we talked to him, you were barely still going through boot camp. Puberty. Uh, no. yeah. I was already done. No, I think you, because it was the episode where you, me, Tony, and Danny were here, and we were talking about um, our career paths, and you were, I think, midways through boot camp. Nah. I must have been, like, close to done. Nah, I'm or pretty sure he was done. I'm pretty, I, think you, I think you said that there was, I like, he graduated. there was, like, 40 people left. Was that accurate at the end? Uh, yeah, we graduated 38. Okay, so then, yeah, it was probably towards the end then. Yeah, so you were, but you were still technically in, in boot camp. But yeah, yeah. So today, two months, three months after, we're gonna we're having yeah. a little checkup with Tim to see. Checkup checkup just just sounds wrong. If I have PTSD, or PTSD something. already. No, but you must have some stories for us. Stories, uh, yeah. Well, give us give us a, a just a, a brief description. You don't have to give any details of like what. What you do because they knew that it was a boot camp that you were in boot camp for the sheriff's department, but I don't think they know like what yeah. your job entitles or what it's the responsibilities of it. Yeah, so pretty much the sheriff's department is also responsible for the like the jail facilities, right? People yeah. that are in custody. So some of my buddies that graduated with police agencies, they went straight out to patrol okay. as opposed to us who graduated in the sheriff's department. We go yeah, we go as uh, custody deputies, pretty much. We're deputies. Eventually, we get to the point where we go out to patrol, but we start off for the first couple of years, few years um, in custody. When you guys patrol, does that make you sheriffs or is only no. one sheriff? No, there's still only one sheriff. There's only one sheriff in town. It's, yeah, it's the Ventura County Sheriff's Office. So when they say sheriff deputy, deputy is the actual the actual position, right? Yeah, I'm a yeah. deputy. There's deputy, senior deputies, uh, sergeant. Then it goes captain, and then once you go captain and up, it's pretty much like an admin job. Mm. Um, sergeants are like the the ones out in the field for the most part. Like they're the Supervisors. Patrol, yeah, on a patrol, they're like the supervisors. Oh, okay, okay. For captains, is there a lot of captains? Uh, it narrows down, obviously, at the further you go up. Right. So there's one sheriff, obviously. There's one under sheriff. There's four assistant sheriffs. And then there's, I think, eight commanders, maybe, maybe eight or ten commanders. And then captain says maybe 20 to 30 mm. oh okay okay so it's a little... it, it widens out as it goes yeah down. so different yeah. rankings and then sergeants even more yeah there's more yeah. sergeants Shoot. you have a... and then just regular <clears throat> different and then i'm assuming that there's also does it does it vary per unit too like is there like specific sergeants for specific units oh yeah yeah, yeah. so it depends on the unit but like for example swat team right there's maybe I don't know, a rough number. There's maybe 25 to 30 SWAT members. Um, maybe 18 of those will be deputies, right? And oh, okay. it's, it's their collateral <clears throat> position. So a collateral position is pretty much you're out on patrol, but then your side gig is SWAT team or your side gig is, mm. uh, I don't know, I can't think off the top of my head, but it's pretty much like your side gig. Helicopter right. pilot. K9 you Yeah. Uh K9 no, no. K9's a full time gig. <clears throat> oh okay. so when you're K9, you're K9. Like that's your job. You're a canine. Uh you're a K9. Well, you're not you're a, a canine. You're <laughs> canine handler. Handler, yeah. That's... But yeah, so for example, Ain't nobody team, gonna be able to handle me. <laughs> <laughs> you there's put about... a leash on you. You yeah. can't put a leash on me. Or a harness. <laughs> a harness. <laughs> well a harness with it's perfect bite. for Danny. You gotta Wait, put a muzzle, muzzle. on me. <laughs> A muzzle harness? Yeah, a muzzle and a harness. 
And a leash. It's a, it's a, it literally does your paws too. And a collar too. One of those shock paws. collars. Oh, have you seen the, like the little booties? Yeah, the little booties. Oh, there's little booties? Yeah. I don't want them. They protect their the little mittens. They're just little, shoes. Little just mittens. Shoes for dogs. Do you know dogs can't get frostbite? They, they can't? can't? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I like just throwing facts out there and then did you know whales, not being able to Did you know whales can't get frostbite either? It's like it's like it's like, it's like well, me saying like, blooded. did you know the biggest camera is the size of a small two bedroom house? It's like, is it? I don't know. <laughs> it could, it could be. Camera. I don't know, but it sounds true. It sounds true. Yeah. Cool. Honestly, if you just it's it's a matter of confidence. If you say something confidently, yeah. people have to believe you. Oh yeah. Fake it to they you. Have what's, to. what's the most confident thing you could say that people would be like, it's gotta be true. It's just got to be true. Mm. I'm the founder of McDonald's. Mm, no, you know no, that no. though. Fact check, because it's like, but it's like it's fact something. Check? Yeah, because it's something like it's something like it's got to be you something. Didn't, you didn't catch that, did you? What I said, fact check. Yeah, fact check. No, I said fat check. Well, let's check your fat. What is that's a good that's a good fact uh, check. question. What is fact? What check? is something? What's something you can say that most people? What, that's what that's the thing. It's got to be something not worth enough fact checking for. Like it's got to be something out there that's like not ah, not, like, like should I fact check it just to make sure? Not worth my time. It's it like would, ah, like I believe him. It would have you to know? be something specific to the person, right? No, no, that's that's the thing. It shouldn't be specific to the person. Like if someone just walks up to you and says, "I got thirty-two tattoos on my ankle." No, it, it no, would have to be something to like something. that they can't fact check. Something. So like, did you know LeBron has a tattoo of my name on his thigh? <laughs> no, but you have but to see, believe it. No, but that's too specific that's to too yourself. Specific to it's got to be something like, did you know that Venus is exactly eight hundred uh, light years away from Mars? Eight hundred light years? Yeah, that's too. That's too many light years. That's too specific. That's too specific. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you should have just said miles. Eight, eight th- okay, yeah, okay. Kilometers. It's kilometers. We don't know how to judge kilometers. That's true. Yeah, yeah so. if you if you switch the metric system on them, that's even more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Switch the metric. Instead of like pound, instead of like pounds, like saying like, "Oh, I'm 20." <clears throat> what is it? Uh, stones. Stones. Yeah. Or like my car. The 20 costs stones is not even the same. Twenty thousand pounds. Vessels. Yeah. You don't know how to. <laughs> yeah. Vessels. Yeah. Vessels <laughs> that would be a little bit different though. Yeah, there's true. there's a lot of people that could be like, "No, dude, it's it's uh it's 20 pesos per the dollar." It, okay. Yeah, you can be like, your, your it costs exactly roughly like. 200 or 300 yen. And they'll be like, ah, oh, okay. Or ruby, uh, rubles. Uh, ru- uh, Maybe if your background also went with it. So like if like someone that's Mexican that's said true. You could, pesos. Well, no, not just that, but like say like career wise too. Like he could say like, did you know I could arrest you for doing this? Oh, that would you know? be true. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh. I guess that's it, also lying. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, well that's the whole point of like making up these well, random things. Yeah. It would be like you saying like for littering. Actually, no, you can get arrested for littering. You can get arrested for littering. Or you can get fined for littering. So it it would have to be like maybe a petty law where it's not lying, but it's not always enforced. Like, yeah. Okay. So it's got to be some. You know, this podcast is illegal. Yeah, there you go. You see, I would believe that. Now he's sweating. No, he's sweating. Why is it illegal? Uh, Uh, <clears throat> that mic isn't the same as all the other ones. Mm. But we're not even using that mic. Why? Look at the color of that mic. I don't <laughs> think the color has anything to do with it. <laughs> jacked up. It's because it's a cheaper <clears throat> mic. <laughs> That's, That's true. even more jacked up, dude. But it is. <clears throat> the quality and everything. Well, I would say, like, for me, it'd be like, oh, did you know um, you get more radiation per day walking outside than you do in an x-ray room? Really? Is, is that, that true, true though? <laughs> <For the other. laughs> I think <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> that's how you answer it. Depends it depends where you live. No, but I kind of so, okay, believe that. Though. When, when, you when you start questioning, that's how you know the other person's like, "I got you," like I got them hooked. Because mm-hmm. now we're over here, like, oh, yeah, that, that sounds right. It was like the whole banana <laughs> thing. The banana, the banana thing. No, the banana thing that didn't make sense at all. We couldn't but no it, banana thing. But the it's radiation. Actually real. You're the one that told us about it. No, I. Oh, you I'm told us about that, it. You were there yeah. when we first heard about I it. I think Alex told us about the. Movie. <clears throat> no, I said it. No, Alex was the one that one didn't believe it. Oh, it's because he wasn't there. Did you know one there. way to kill rats is by overdosing them with potassium, which is radiation. Yeah. Which so when I work, when I worked with, uh, yeah. I don't know if he's been on, but you know who our cousin. We would obviously they had a bunch of rats, so what uh, we would call a person, and then he would put down these little green sponges. Oh, right? okay, yeah, I've seen. And that. then those green sponges—they're just potassium. Mm. Just 
a ton of potassium so the rat bites on them and then the rat eventually dies so it's not really lethal to dogs is that one of the not probably lethal? it's probably lethal probably, to yeah. humans so if danny would eat to eat one of those sponges well yeah it hurt my throat last time i tried one of those. that's why that's why they're in those black boxes <clears throat> i don't know if you oh. walk through, if you walk around a restaurant sometimes they'll have those black boxes just i thought those were, those were trapped they're not traps they just have sponges on the inside because i've seen some that like they literally like will close behind them that too they probably make mm. they'll have the snap ones or they have like the, the ratatouille I don't know if you've seen one the humane ones where it just literally traps them and you take them somewhere a human one no you said humane. Humane. With an E. What's the difference? Like human, we don't need like to human describe this. Yeah, no, no. Human so ratatouille? in other words, it captures it without killing it or harming it, and then you can take them. It's somewhere. like the ratatouille one. It's like seen, ratatouille. You've seen ratatouille? You guys, you've seen ratatouille? I have seen ratatouille. Uh, ratatouille tries to get... That's a um, good movie, by the way. It's a great movie. I just saw it yesterday again. It's a pretty movie. Um, yeah. yeah, I saw it. I, dude, I love that movie. The movie's nice. Do you know what's... You know what's uh, crazy have you guys ever seen the what are those little rat squirrel thingies that come out of the dirt uh gophers gophers have you have you guys ever seen gopher traps how they work Mm -mm. so there's very simple they it's just two like almost nails that close like this and it has like a little lever and you don't put bait you don't do anything you just shove them in the hole and these gophers they don't like things blocking their exits Mm -hmm. so they'll try to push it out so while they're pushing it out (laughs) idiots they trigger it and they get stabbed sideways oh so it kills them in the head i've seen the ones where like they put a bunch of like oil or gas down the hole and they light it up (laughs) what (laughs) yeah i don't think that's humane well neither is yours yeah (laughs) think about a human trying to go through that hole and then it gets stabbed in the side it's not humane That's, at all. But it'd be an easier kill than setting them on fire with oil. You kill a bunch of them. What if they don't even die? What if they just get burned and they go back down the hole? You know nah. what's a good like entrepreneur thing that we should all pursue? What? An escape room, but with traps. <laughs> Where you could actually die. No, no well, you don't uh, die. You're just close to it. Oh, but they're, oh, but, they're but they're like the dumbest traps ever. Like they're just it's like a giant rat, rat trap. But it only squishes you like, um, like cushion, like yeah. it's foam. Yeah. But or if it, you fall for it, you're like. It's like one of those where it's like down. you're in a room and all you see is just like this puddle or like this this little pond, and you have to swim through it. And so when you swim through it, there's a multiple exits, but multiple versions are dead ends. So they could so like a so maze? drown. They could drown. Okay, but that's killing them. Yeah. That's well, cool. no, well, that's the point. Like it's not far enough so that it's. It's Far enough to enough? where they can go, yeah, it's deep enough to where they can see that, oh, shoot, this is a dead end. I got to swim back. Oh. Well, how about like a maze that every single time they don't get to the correct exit, the yeah, exit exactly. changes? Oh, okay. I, so I eventually like they'll get out, but they're literally, literally trapped until they figure it out. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. oh, now the exit, we moved it to a different spot. And each time they miss an exit, they get charged an extra 25 bucks. Mm-hmm. Oh, ooh. yeah. That would be make, we'd be making money. Mm-hmm. I could oh. already think of people to stick in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's a cool idea that I've heard of? Um, those like smash rooms, where they just Whoa. smash, they just smash different items, guys. They smash like TVs, toilets. <laughs> <laughs> they like break things, guys. They break things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's they, they just like get printers and like just dishes, chuck them at the wall. Chuck them at the wall. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I have seen that. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. That's tight. Really That's cool tight. because yeah, yeah. there's a lot of angry people in this world. <laughs> Dude, Tony would want to be on that. Dude. The smash room, yeah. That's what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> be disappointed when he gets there, but like he. <laughs> oh, that'd be tight though honestly oh, like yeah. throwing like even like paintball oh like I guess even shooting stuff too like just shooting to break stuff we should go to the shooting range <laughs> we, we do we do need to go to the range yeah have you talked about guns on this podcast no but we Never have for shorts nothing. we have shorts that we've made um, I got shorts right now not those type of shorts well you're the same situation with the smash thing 
How many uh, um, guns do you own, if you don't mind me asking? I have two. What are they? Uh, I have a Ruger 10-22 uh, takedown one, takedown model. So, like, pretty much break the, ha- the gun in half. You could just take it like that. They always, like, call it, a, like, a truck gun. Um, and a Davidson's... What was it called? I forgot the model of it, but it's, it's just, a, like, a tactical <clears throat> shotgun. I think you saw it. I like. thought you had a pistol. No, 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 I want to buy a, I haven't seen your shotgun, but I want to buy I thought a, I showed it to you. a Benelli M4. I'll show I'll show you next time. I can't even buy that. <laughs> I think you're the only one that can buy that. I don't know. Benelli, although they're expensive though. It's just an M4. It's just like a 1400. Te- technically, technically because of, of the stock. Unless oh, you, get you get like a pistol grip. Yeah. Unless you get like a, which, which you, mm. okay, you I'm gonna have, sh- I'll show you my gun and mine was like literally Cal, like Cal compliant and everything. I bought it like this. But I'll show it to you, which is kind of weird because I feel like it has a pistol grip on it. You should take Sal's, uh, his gun. His AR? Yeah. He doesn't want it? Just, or what? Like, just no, no, no. no. He, oh, no. He wants it. But I'm just saying, like, you should go. Just go out there and jack just it. Jack I, him? I shot it the other day. It's actually really nice. Is oh. it the, what was it, the AR? Mm-hmm. I've, I've shot Alex's. Alex had bought his before Sal, and Sal uh, okay. talked one? to Alex and bought the same one. But I think he mm-hmm. paid more because it was like... It. it was during the time where like everyone was buying guns, Got so it. everything was like getting like super expensive. Inflation, inflation, and whatnot. <clears throat> but uh, no, they're there. Yeah, they're cool. And then you just got yours too, right? Mm, like I've had it for like two months. Two months? No, I mean like the, your own purchased one. Yeah, I've had it for like two months. Wait, wh- which two one months? did you get? It's a. Was that when me and you went out? S- look at it. Yes, that was two months ago. <laughs> Sheesh, yeah. time flies. Um, it's a six hour P320 X compact. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. I put a red dot on it, put a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you can actually have like more mag space, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Like for us, we can only do 10 <clears throat> rounds. They Our kind. Do. They just think we're going to miss. I think that's probably why. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, we're, we're better at, uh, at aiming and shooting. <laughs> Than uh, actual police officers, <laughs> or they just have more targets. Uh, that's what it is. They got more targets. Yeah, <clears throat> they don't have time to reload, so they just give them more. <laughs> <laughs> if you shoot more down the line, down the 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 aisle, you'll 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 eventually get them. Mm-hmm. Have you gone to like where do you go to shoot shooters? What about outdoors? I haven't gone outdoors. I want to go outdoors. There's a spot in Peru mm-hmm. that I want to go to, but. How far uh, is that from James? Is that so far? Pyru, isn't it? It's kind of more far. towards. Um, I've been to the. Meet them there. I've been to the indoors, uh, LA location. Uh, I think it's the same one that. Um, I think the thing with indoors is you can't draw out of the holster. The LA one. What do you mean? Like if you want to practice. Oh out yeah, of the holster, no, yeah. It has to be outdoors. I've, I mean, you know hey, what I mean. Like you can't just go like that, or what I mean. No, technically you can, but. I feel like to probably uh, might tell you something, but I don't think you don't have an issue with it. Unless you're going to be like, whoosh, just shoot right up, right no. from the hip or something like that. So I mean, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they holster. would probably want you not to do it or probably it's not allowed because of the fact that it's indoors and there's a possibility that some someone could make that mistake. Mm-hmm. Versus outdoors, it's like they shoot the ground, they shoot the ground. Mm-hmm. Is there a Start. different feeling? Now, ha- have you shot like rubber bullets before? What do you mean rubber bullets? Or like, yeah, there's rubber bullets, aren't there? There's rubber bullets. I mean, there's non lethals Non-lethal bullets? Yeah. So those are like, uh, like, like so like say, someone, rubber. say someone rubber were to would kill someone. Plastic? Oh, okay. So they're like, what are they? So it's like a foam tip. Foam? Okay. But it's like a 40. <clears throat> Because so they have the hacky sack shotgun. Right. right. And those wouldn't kill you. Like, not, it's so yeah, not no. a hacky sack. It's a bean bag. <laughs> bean, bean bag shotgun. Hacky, hacky sack. sack. No, there's bean bag and then there's bean 40s, bag. which are so 40s. You just get hit by something. Literally. Like, what the heck was that? It's just, Jesus loves you, hacky sack? <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> there's literally no, but, 40s and then mm-hmm. the foam is tip, or the tip is a foam. Uh-huh. And then that, I mean, that still leaves a bruise and everything. Ooh, I think it right. probably still break bones if you're close enough. Yeah. Gosh. Dang. What but, if it like hits you in the eye? Oh, yeah, that might we don't that, that might be lethal. They say if you're gonna use it, you don't aim. Aim for the body. Aim yeah, for the you legs. aim for like body, legs. Ooh, the thighs like, would be like the best. Part. Imagine hitting like right in like the groin area. 
Like accidentally. It's not I mean, like, if someone pulls that out, you don't, you do whatever they tell you to do. Yeah. You don't want to get hit with it. Yeah. With, with what? That beanbag or the 40. Oh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I was saying, is it like a different feeling, like when you shoot it? Uh, there's no re- like recoil. There's no recoil. Mm-hmm. It's weird though. Mm-hmm. Imagine shooting something and there's no recoil. The twenty two. Well, I mean, that still have has, you shot? Have you shot? A that still has something. <clears throat> it's like no, I'm talking uh, nothing. No, but I'm, I mean, like twenty two rifle. No, not a rifle. Okay, when we go, you'll shoot mine, and you'll be like, "Dude, this is a plastic toy. Why? How is this? How is this like? How are you even like walking around with this? Like, it doesn't feel like anything. You feel like like a paintball gun would probably have more recoil than my gun. And I haven't shot a paintball gun in a long time. Well, you know how like That's got recoil. shooting the paintball gun, it's like thump thump thump. This it's like like an airsoft. It's like an airsoft. Kind of like an airsoft gun. It's trippy because. The last time I took it, I was like, if it was a handgun, you'd feel that recoil. But since it's a rifle, there's, like, nothing to it. And you're just kind of like, what the heck? Like, why? We should go. We should go. They're just, just not him. Just us two. Yeah. You, you can't go. <laughs> buy, buy a gun. And then you Do you work on Friday? Do you know, we, we should go with, with Alex. Cause that, Does he work on Friday? I, I know he's been working with his dad recently, but mm. I'm not sure. <clears throat> if he's working off <clears throat> They can work um, on Sunday It's father <clears throat> Have you seen his guns? I haven't Dude Okay The last time I went with him We brought all our guns So I had my two guns And he had like his nine guns I have a podcast on Friday Oh yeah That's when we have the podcast <clears throat> But like yeah. before that No no You switched the date didn't you? Oh I have a podcast on Saturday Alright So wait Friday yet? Yeah. Uh, oh I'm gonna be busy Friday That's why, busy. That's why yeah. I switched it Yeah yeah. yeah, but um, that he he has a lot of cool guns. Which I I was trying to buy his one of his guns off of him because he has like a nineteen and a seventeen Glock, and I wanted to buy his seventeen off of him or his revolver, but he didn't want to sell me his revolver. So, but yeah, that guy has like a lot of guns, and he has a shotgun too. <clears throat> yeah, he's got a bunch. Yeah, he's got a shotgun. He's got the AR. He's got a thirty eight special. Um, revolver. That I shot the, the nineteen. He took that when we Glock went. Nine, Glock nineteen, Glock seventeen. What was the other one? The Spring <clears throat> Springfield XD or something like that that he loves. Uh, I don't. I don't it's, a, it's a nine. It's a nine as well. And then he took like two of them when we went. Probably yeah. But yeah, it's always fun he to shoot them. But once you shoot them. the the twenty two, you're gonna be like, dude, there's no recoil. That's why I I my next gun. Is gonna be a twenty two <clears> handgun <throat> because I feel like I could accurately shoot this the twenty two better than I could shoot a nine or, or anything else. And ultimately, I think just twenty two is a better round. <clears throat> but I know I know a lot of people would argue with me about that. It's probably just the stopping power because it's so small. But at the same time, I think statistically speaking, there's more actual deaths with the twenty two than any other caliper round you know which one i want i want the jk 1014 automatic water blaster summer <laughs> summer <laughs> beach <party. laughs> Look at that dude jackson probably has that one is that the one with the battery in it that shoots like yeah it's got one battery you know what i want one double there's like this little wand that shoots out little fire fireballs dude it's sick a wand oh it's yeah you haven't seen the videos thing yeah, it's like a Harry Potter magic thing, and but it's, it's like, like actual fire. Yeah, like little yeah. fire. Let me snick it. Is it like, like an adult can only buy it? I'm assuming it's like it's like a toy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pretty much, like the fire isn't gonna unless you like shoot it at gasoline. Oh, but like you shoot it at the couch and it's not gonna do anything. That's that's, that's it. That's pretty tight. That's an, no, no. So it's a wand. Manual. Oh, I, I was double, like, that's not a wand. Water blast, that's a pressure spray gun. Oh, okay. uh, I'll, I'll find wand. you like. I look for the one social media. Wand. Oh, uh, remember the the gun I showed you that one time in the parking lot? Huh? That I you were like uh, you had brought yours and I brought mine, and I showed you it and you're like, <clears throat> oh, looks trippy. Had it's called the design. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire not, it wasn't wand. actually a gun. Oh no, no, it was my airsoft gun. Uh, but it's it's such. I got it from like um, it had weight to oh, it. Yeah, I there's remember a, that. It, it's it's a replica gun, so it's supposed to uh, be a replica of. Uh, I'll show it to you afterwards. Uh, Nineteen eleven, 
<clears throat> and um, it looks legit, but it's actually just a, a C, uh, yeah CO two um, airsoft gun. I love it, but it's just it's just for looks. Yeah, check this out. That's There's it. The, That's the one. The There's like a little the, gif of it working. The incendio or some incendio magic. Oh, one. it can actually light things actually, up. Yeah, yeah. That's actually. But that, like that would have been useful for camping, like, dude. It <clears throat> throws a little fire. It's not just like a. Yeah, I know. He he has a hand like. A, Right, like right where he where he shoots it, there's a a candle. Mm-hmm. For I don't think you'll be able to see, but no, they're not gonna be able to see that. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to see that. I'm sure they've seen it. Zoom in, zoom in. How much is it? Handmade by wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Each incendio magic wand is meticulously handcrafted by a renowned <laughs> Olivander family. Oh yeah, it's I love when, uh, Imagine if it's one like, that cannot it's be purchased uh, in unless it's all kosher uh, approved. <laughs> it's it's a it's kosher a approved. it's a one that cannot be purchased in stores unless you embark in a magical journey and visit the esteemed Olivander store yourself. Olivander, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, Look at Olivander this. is part of a uh, Olivander <clears throat> part of Harry Potter. Is it? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> imagine if it was like kosher approved too. Well, how? Well, what? What? In what world? Would that even relate to anything kosher related? That's what I'm saying. Well, do you know what kosher is, right? Yeah, it's uh, the Jewish people have kosher to make sure that they have. It's just, no, no, it's just. It's like regulations on no, what they can eat. No, no, no. All it is is just a rabbi that prays over the food or prays over but the it, product. But it's also a regulated, like designated food. Like, Wait, is that really pork. all that kosher? Yeah, like, yeah it's just a rabbi prays over the product. Well, I pray over my food. Did right, you know that there's it's a rabbi. Did you know that there's rules? Not a rabbi. Not better than me. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that there's rules for Jewish people? There's uh, rules for any people. Yeah. No, no, for like about eating pork. Oh, uh, I, mean, I thought it was just. I thought that was pork. Indian and like 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 they there's certain animals that they can't eat, but there's like pork is is a specific thing that they can't eat, and one of the things is um, I forgot where I saw it that uh. Mm. There's this book that kind of gives them instructions on like what to do in si- certain situations, and if someone throws pork inside their like stew, they it, it has to be a specific ratio of pork to liquid or or soup for them to still be able to eat it because they don't just toss it away. Mm. So if like for some reason someone was being like evil and like brought pork and were like, oh these guys are cooking their stew. And they threw it in there. They would have to either add more liquid to compensate for the the pork that's in it, mm. which is kind of weird. So it's not like pork and water. <clears throat> well, they practically it's be soup. they practically dilute it even more just for it to be like I do religiously con- like you dilute Kool Aid. Yeah, like if there's too much Kool Aid powder, I'll put more water. It's kind of like that. Mm, okay. And if there's too much water, I'll put more Kool-Aid powder. Okay, I could I could bargain with that. Okay, which one would be better, Kool-Aid or water? Capri Sun. Oh, Capri Sun. <clears throat> Capri Sun. Because I recently had both, and I was like, I don't know. You know, my favorite Capri Suns were the ones know. with the clear. Like, oh, yeah, 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 you could see. The, you could see? Yeah. I don't know why, the but back, that, just, yeah. that was just interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 those were always good. It made me feel like... You know which ones I hated, seen, though? Yeah. All-knowing. The ones that were like zero sugar for like healthy Those kids. are whack. Yeah, those are whack. They would that's taste just, like... It's just like Diet Coke. Well, yeah, no, yeah. That's why I don't, do, I, I don't no, drink Diet Coke. Oh. Coke Zero, Diet Coke. Coke Zero. Well, diet, even I like diet Coke, Coke Zero better. It's decent. I like Coke Zero better, but Coke Zero, like, you, it, it tastes like Coke, but just not as... It's not as bad, like... So Coke, Luke, Coke tastes like horrible. Lukewarm? It's not lukewarm. I feel. No. I feel like I, I was like drinking cold. I feel like Pepsi. Every single time I drink it, it's like lukewarm. I used to even though Pepsi. it's cold. I used to love Pepsi. I hate Pepsi. I would, we, whenever we'd go out, wait, to you don't like you don't like Pepsi anymore? Um, this would be maybe, big. maybe like, Pepsi is, Zero. Pepsi Zero. I could try it. Pepsi Zero. But, but just Pepsi. I, I can't do sodas anymore. Like, wow! Did you so ever have Pepsi Max? Air? Wait, what do you mean soda? You're drinking soda. I mean, like, like uh, non diet, non diet soda. Oh, so now you're getting I don't, specific. I don't like to drink my So calories. it's either zero sugars or Diet Coke. Yeah. Or yeah. some even, type even of diet. Diet, Pepsi. diet, I'm like, ugh, I'm hesitant with it. Why? But I'll something to love. Why not just drink it's water? It's calories in your, in your water. It's calories in your drink. 
Just drink water. It's better not to drink. Yeah, I'll drink but water. You drink, and... you drink uh, the zero calorie. Zero oh, calories. Zero calorie. I think, uh, the white monsters. I think zero, that's... Zero calories. No, they actually have 10 calories. Oh, yeah. Well, well either way, I, energy drinks, I try not to drink at, at all. Anymore. I think probably the biggest like health thing someone... like Biggest health decision that someone can make is drinking water. Oh, absolutely. Like, like just completely, drink. that's it? Yeah, just yeah, water. Yeah. And you could do it. Yeah, like, absolutely. It's totally feasible. Mm -hmm. You can have a meal with just water. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the fun of oh, that? Oh, what about lemon? I, I like that. I like but the risk. You do it, right, right, right. Like but you lemon. do it for a month, and then you just don't even crave soda anymore. What if you, like, what I think if you, you still okay. get crave. Because well, there was a while where I wasn't even doing soda at all. I was the only thing I was doing was water and um, sparkling water, which is still water. Here, here's a crazy idea. But just water. What hap What okay, would happen so if like you stop drinking soda, but you've never done it before? Oh, you lose and like then, forty pounds. No, I'll no, tell you right now. No, no, and you start drinking water, but after a couple months, you start like hallucinating at night. And then you start like becoming a vigilante. I feel like that's something totally different than just the. Well, soda. No, he's trying to make a comic. We got to make a but comic. I'm kind of interested. Oh, so now you become so, soda man? No, water now man. you start water like man. you start like waking up and you're like, whoa, like you start to the. See, I went to the bathroom, but I ended up on the roof, and it's like six in the morning now. Oh, and mm. it, and what you ended up doing was you you've were, been depriving yourself. You've been of depriving that soda. yourself of that soda, and now that inner that monster monster inside, inside that wants that soda goes out to random liquor store and it's being robbed and he stops the robber no if anything it's he's starting he's be, he's stealing the soda or he's just going out he at is, night he is the robber he is the robber and people can't find him so he's just been pounding and he's sodas like, in the middle of the if night he sees somebody with the soda he just goes jacks it drinks it and then disappears they find him and like there's footage of him at like a mcdonald's just drinking straight from the fountain mm -hmm. <laughs> in his pjs <laughs> in his pjs yeah just but, zoned out just oh no socks. What what about soda makes no it socks. enjoyable? Is it the carbonation or is it the flavor? It's the feeling. Probably the flavor. What the feeling? <laughs> feeling. It's the, the. Haven't you ever seen the commercial of just like Coke where they're like, <sighs> okay, so because you ever got soda from the fountain and it doesn't have carbonation and you're just like, nah. oh, that's whack. Yeah, yeah, I still drink. It's the carbonation, it's a, right? Uh, well, there's times where you get only. Have you ever gone to a, like a, a restaurant and it's only carbonation, no flavor? Yeah, it's just carbonated water. It's whack. I'd rather just you, have it, carbonated it, water. Oh okay. no, because it's like there's still slight like yeah, there's flavors. still like a uh, small little hint of like yeah, Pepsi or or something yeah. like Gatorade or something. Yeah, like I, I think um, at least for me, like Coke Zero or Diet Coke, it's like my um, what do you call it? Your it's weakness. Your, it's your no, no. It's like your treat. Like that's how I treat myself. My treat. Really. I don't really mm. buy myself stuff. No, I'm talking about like food wise. No, I, I buy my stuff. Food wise, <clears throat> like food wise. Food wise? Yeah. I just eat. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I wish I could cook like really good, dude. Like make something out of nothing. I have the knowledge of cooking, like so many, because I watch so you many have cooking the videos, the cook but not the patience. But not like I've never actually gone out and executed it. Mm. I do, but I have a tendency of eating it before it gets to the plate. God, what do you mean? Like you're eating it while it's still frying and stuff? Well, or? you know how like people taste it oh, to see God. if it's good. But well, by the time it gets to the plate, <laughs> no, it's just know. like it's gone. It's gone. gone. Yeah. Wait, so it's you gone. eat the food before serving it? Sometimes. Remind me That's never wild. to come to your house for yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving because there's just gonna well, be no time. I, I bring extra food. Tea, like <laughs> it's like I bring extra food just in case. So I'll, if I'm cooking uh, a turkey, I'm cooking two turkeys. So if I say Joel, I want a burger. That burger I'd will be gone. Burger. Okay, burger. but how am I going to get it? <laughs> I, I, I make that like burger four that burgers. was the size will be this size. <laughs> it's a slider. I'll yeah. make uh, four burgers. And, and, and you'll only give me one? Sliders, or what? Give you, <laughs> 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 you just end up like half of one? Where's the other half? <laughs> it's all like, you don't need it. like the grease is still dripping from it. <laughs> like, it wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was poisoned. I had to uh, eat it. Taste test everything. I tested it. I had a kosher approve it. <laughs> no, um, what is it that thing that the the like rabbis go in? I, I don't know if you guys have seen it, where they literally set fire to everything in the house. Like right uh, that's called arson. <laughs> that that no, no, is no. arrestable. No, no, no. Arrestable. They they actually go in. <laughs> it's arrestable. <laughs> yeah, and they like, I think it's called kosher, where they like use a little flamethrower and they just kind of like cleanse everything from the house. So they're wizards. Cleanse. The little wand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just looks like some dude with like Ollivander? a little torch, but. 
No, I'm serious. Like, look it up. Just look up Rabbi. Um, Rabbi Arson. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to find an article, Florida man. <laughs> Florida, yeah. <clears throat> no, it's. Uh, you should look type up okay. Rabbi uh, Cleansing Kitchen. And then, when, and you're, then <laughs> when you're done with that, do look you'll... up something else. Watch. This is actually. So, really what I'm just going to look up something. What I think they do is because, like, let's say you're Jewish and you buy a house. I'm not Jewish, but okay. <clears throat> In this scenario, you're, Jew- you're Jewish. Okay, I'm Jewish. You, you decide to buy a house, but you oh don't know gosh, if they're doing it. You don't know if. Uh, Why does it? the kosher kitchen need a blowtorch at Passover? See, that's the thing. <laughs> hmm. This guy's going ham. Is he? Yeah, on the sink. Like, <laughs> it's going to get wet, dude. <laughs> we read that. Read it out loud. Can I? Can I uh, yeah, read the red. There are two different kinds. Oh, wait. Where did I, why did I add different? I'm over here just make, adding words. To, there are two kinds of kosher. The kind that is observed year-round and the kind that is observed at Passover. Was that supposed to be funny or what? No, I just thought it was like the fact that they had to say that. Oh, yeah. Like it's all bold and red. Yeah. And like you got to know this. So what is it that it... That do you want me to read the article and get back to you, or like, what do you, what do you want me to do? Oh, it doesn't tell you right there. Right then, like what there? they're doing. Uh, so no, I'm, just, coach, I'm, right? just, I'm just seeing this guy. Like, <clears> they're like purifying it. They purify it, right? With so, fire. <clears throat> yeah. So let's say you're Jewish. <clears throat> okay. In this scenario, you're Jewish. I'm Jewish. You decide <clears throat> to buy a house. I'm buying a house. This is what I'm assuming. I don't know if this is accurate. Okay. <laughs> you you buy a house, <laughs> yeah. and. You don't want to cook anything in there because they could have eaten pork and they killed something. Got it. Mm. So you call your rabbi, and your rabbi is Danny. 24 7. Hey, Danny. Eight days a week. Um, I need you to come over to my new house. I need this house. I'm just on call. The, the, like kitchen, the, the kitchen cleaned. And oh they, they're God. like, okay, I'll be there in a couple minutes. And I saw, I, I kid you not, I saw this post, and literally there was a guy saying like that he does like six houses uh, like every week. So he's like, that's he, actually really interesting. He's just on call. Or he's like, does he have I saw a video or? and he was just like literally like setting, practice, well, he wasn't setting fire, but it was like, you know how like when you get a lighter and you kind of like burn like the little lint, lint off of your shirt. Oh, I thought you were like burning your arm. <laughs> no, no, no. Like the little lint things. It's kind of like that, that, but with a flamethrower and they're just like, all right, done. Your you house know, is cleaned. You should done. look this up. Cleansed. And everybody at home can look this up too. Look up, type in your birthday, and then type in Florida man. Like my exact birthday? Yeah. Yeah, let's look up your... Just like, uh, just, what is your birthday? It's this it's month. Coming, it's coming up, dude. You know June? Birthday? June. June what? 8th. That already passed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> June. It's June, June 13, 13, dude. 13? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Today's the 13th. <laughs> dude, I what, don't know. What birthday. day is it, Joel? Uh, June... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> June 29th. These are the people that love me, guys. June 29th. I know your birthday. Oh, don't put words in my mouth. Um, my dad's birthday is June 27th. <laughs> Florida, Florida man. Florida man. Okay. Florida man. Um, Florida man. Tell us what, what your birthday's Florida man is. What about. Just there, type in the, a website called My Birthday Ninja. No. Just. Um, <laughs> that's not what we have, Danny. Just type Stick. in your birthday. I did. I thought June twenty ninth, Florida man. That's then, the year too, or no? No. Just oh, okay. okay. I put the year, dude, because you never know. Okay. Oh, and wow. Type in on the first link, first article. Oh wow. Or just read the headline. What's the headline? <laughs> just read it. This is funny. Uh, Florida man robs. <laughs> <laughs> read it out loud. Wait, there's a couple of them. No, just oh, read the first no. one. Okay, the first, first one. one is uh, Florida man. Florida man poses at. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Dude, I you what is this? Do you want to read? It's because I keep reading it, and then I read it farther ahead, and I'm just like, "Dude, Florida man poses as Walt Disney World." <laughs> Give it to Tim. Florida man poses as Walt Disney World security <laughs> and steals R two D two droid. <laughs> Dude, ten thousand dollars. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, right. that's uh, Grand Theft right there. Oh, that is. Man. Um, thank you. Here, look up, look up yours. I'll do thank mine. Uh, December seventh. Man, dude, really what's crazy? Is th- there's a couple of dude, why, do you have, dude. why do you have it's not the, the s- why do you have the Spanish keyboard? 
<laughs> he has the <laughs> Spanish keyboard. <laughs> What? Why? <laughs> Trying to practice there's my just, Spanish. There's dude. just an Enya on the side. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I'm not going to read the first one. I'm not going to read the second one. <laughs> Lord is wild, dude. <laughs> okay, I'll read the fourth one. <laughs> the, Florida- fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth one. Florida man accused of stealing over $1,000 worth of toothbrushes, <laughs> then throws them off. Then throws them off. I got to read the rest. Or something. You have to pay for the rest. For the rest. <laughs> oh, this guy looks like a, a Florida Dude, man. What if, what if there was actually Florida men that actually looked like us? That were like, did stuff on our In bridge. all these yeah, scenarios, just them they off do look like us. Hmm? Look up mine. October 27th. Here, just uh, read, read this one and then look yours up. <laughs> oh. Wow, this, um, this one actually kind of looks like Joel. That just doesn't look but like don't read, Just read the title. Read it. But like, don't Florida, read it in the mic. Florida, what do you mean? <laughs> Florida man stuffed Olaf toy. <laughs> An Olaf toy? Why? Okay. Okay. Florida okay. people, man. Have you been to Florida? You haven't oh, been I don't want to go anymore now. Why? That stuff? Oh. A thousand dollars worth of toothbrush. <laughs> you guys should be doing <clears> this too. <throat> Type in your just your birthday, the month, the day. And then t- Florida. Yeah. And then leave in the comments what, what why, the... Why, yeah, why, yeah. why is it in Spanish? It, instead of I, saying, like, go, it said ir. <laughs> it said espacio. <clears throat> oh, wow. You could change it. You could change I have multiple keywords. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. You're not going to be able to read it. Let me see that. No, I got this. I got this. Uh, no, you're not, dude. Um, so for October 27th. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. It? I got this. <clears throat> Florida man, Florida man found with live grenade and clown mannequin inside trunk. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's a podcast in itself. Uh, there's another one that was a uh, Florida man stole a bulldozer, knocked down a fence, and stole Biden sign. <laughs> stole Biden sign. That sounds like it would happen. And in there's Texas. a whole bunch yeah. of signs. Uh, right. It was a 26 year old. Uh, do you know Alex's birthday? Uh, I don't. Look at my dad's. It's um June twenty seventh. <clears throat> oh, that's hilarious. And, and it's crazy that they have this just on the internet for all of us to enjoy. <clears throat> Try to tell that one. <laughs> Naked Florida man stood in a fire and chanted gibberish. Mushrooms did it, cops say. It's always the mushroom. <clears throat> Bunch of mushrooms. Wow. Oh, Florida man. Florida is that could be its segment itself. That Let's go could through be... different different <clears throat> uh like okay. Let's go through each one. Why would California, someone go Arizona. to Disneyland and steal R2D2? Oh, oh they, they have, have a, to give a reason. Oh, that's, okay. that's, that, let, that's let, easy let's, to imagine. Let's make it make sense. This guy okay. owed his um, loan shark money. Okay. And the only way he knew how to get that much money was to sell an R2D2 <clears throat> mannequin or whatever. And the only way he can get in, because he got banned from his membership for not paying it, for not paying it, <clears throat> was to dress up as a security, which his cousin Lenny works. Lenny is a Florida man named McReynolds. Lenny McReynolds. Yeah. Lenny McReynolds works at Disneyland in Florida mm-hmm. and lent him his uh, security guard uniform so he could get in, steal the statue here's the thing Le- on here's the thing though lenny's a bigger guy <clears throat> so that that security guard costume so that's why that's why he taped big. that's why he taped his grandma's <clears throat> pillowcases mm-hmm. or pillows mm-hmm. inside right. his shirt that's, right that's a given you should have figured that out come on well, no i'm just i'm making you know i'm trying to provide for the story another another way but also yeah. those pillowcases were were made of feathers. Like they weren't, they're not caught in like. The, That's how he got caught. The feathers. The feathers, feathers yeah, were falling the feathers out. Were they were feathers. They're like, what is this guy? Chicken? These are coming from <clears throat> like Hansel, Hansel yeah. and Gretel, Hansel and feathers. 
Yeah. Okay. They found the feathers. He's also making a man cave, and he wanted a R two D two statue. So oh, I thought it was for the loan shark. No, no, no. But this is another <laughs> different reason. different scenario. Oh, okay. Um, I could see that he. I could imagine him being um, in some type of a cult where he believes that that mannequin is the savior. Mm. And so he has to go rescue the savior in order to be rescued. I have a better scenario. He <laughs> actually thinks he's Luke Skywalker mm. Mm, okay. and has to go save R2-D2 from okay. Disneyland employees. <clears throat> Where's Chewbacca? Chewbacca was driving, a.k.a. his cousin Lenny. Lenny. Lenny McReynolds. Lenny McReynolds. <laughs> Crazy. I like that one. But yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. That makes more sense. Now, what about the thousand dollars of toothbrushes? Um, okay. This guy's an ex dentist. Okay. Uh, ex. What happened? Why did he lose his job? Okay, so he got caught. He got caught as a security guard at Walt Disney. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This guy, uh, instead of cleaning people's teeth, <laughs> he gets them dirty now. <laughs> Dude, this went south real fast. Yeah, I like he was, ma- he was, he was making dentist. them dirtier. Or what? He was, he was making. He was not clean. He was making molds. I got an idea. Of got... people's teeth, so he could store them in his office. Why? I got an idea. Is <clears throat> and he would wear them. Oh, he would wear other. He would wear teeth. other people's teeth because he was never happy with his own teeth. Okay. So he would. Um, have, so while he would <clears throat> put people down for a cleaning, it was actually to do a molding of their teeth. So send them back out. He would have horrible okay. Yelp reviews because it's like, dude, I've gone already three times. All this guy's just molding my teeth. And he's knocked me out three times. Knocked me out <clears> three <throat> times. I think I still have the same stains from Chipotle. I've got a rash on my leg because of this guy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's why he lost his dentist job. Yes. Now explain the thousand dollars of toothbrushes. Oh shoot! <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so this guy was just into. So, so, so he's, he, he, that's the that that was the reason why he was yeah, an ex. I see where you're going with. Okay, this. so um, they confiscated all of his obviously degrees teeth. and the teeth moldings that he had. So um, he went into this um, frenzy of not being able to wear other people's teeth, and he felt like he needed to brush his teeth, but one toothbrush wasn't enough. Right, because you use a mm-hmm. toothbrush and the bristles get soft. Exactly, right, right. but he needed more because he's been wearing these people's teeth for all this time. The moldings from these teeth. Now, did did the police remove all the moldings? From, like they took all the moldings them? as uh, as evidence. They confiscated it. Yeah, yeah, and then he obviously lost his practice. Mm. He no longer dentist. Right. <laughs> Could no longer practice. <laughs> Could no longer practice dentist. as a dentist. <laughs> um, and yeah, he just one day just like he kept brushing his teeth with a grill brush and uh, noticed that his teeth were bleeding. So he went to Whoa, the local with a CVS. Grill brush, I bet they were. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that's why he was like, I need to use something safer because he's a dentist. He knows what safety. So he got a bunch of toothbrushes. So he's like, I need to get those Oral Bs. <laughs> Okay. So he went to CVS because he knew that they were gonna get a uh, new shipment from. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got a tip from Lenny, the the driver. Oh, Lenny. Mary. Oh, Lenny. Is that that's Lenny, the same uh, Lenny? It's his yeah. other his other job is yeah. uh, delivery uh, to supplies. Got two jobs. CVS. Two jobs. And he said, uh, "Yeah, I have a <clears> brand new recommend. shipment coming in," and um, stole the truck with a thousand toothbrushes <clears> inside of it, and. He didn't actually throw them over the bridge. He drove over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> As running, any man would. Running away from the cops. Any, anybody would do that. Right. Exactly. Especially in Florida. And what was... Mine was a guy with a live grenade, and I'll mm. leave this to you guys, <clears throat> okay. had a mannequin clown in the trunk. He had a, he, so he had a mannequin that was dressed like a clown in the trunk. Yes. Okay. And he had the live grenade in his hand. Live grenade in his hand. He was also in the trunk, or was he driving? He was driving. Okay, this is easy. It's obvious. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm it's easy. Like, yeah. Let's, okay. So it's obvious. So, How did this um, happen in the first place? So live grenade because he's uh, he's an ex um, Navy. Seal. He's an ex Navy SEAL. So obviously he has these just things and the just military issue. Yeah. Just in case in an emergency. Just in right. case. Um, but. After the, you know, after he departed from the military, you know, he needed a job. 
Right. And the U.S. government, they just weren't supplying him with stuff. So he went out and, you know, he decided, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to be a clown mm-hmm. for, for little for little boy's birthday party. Oh, okay. So uh, he dresses up as a clown and um, he's got props, right? He's got he's got like a bunch of different props. He's one of them is a mannequin. Uh-huh. All right. Um, and he's got he's got a bunch of different props. One of them is also a fake grenade. Mm hmm. Here's the thing, though. He misplaced his prop grenade for a real grenade. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and so he went to a little boy's birthday party. Right. With a real With grenade. a real grenade. But the mannequin was in the trunk. Right. Because right. that's because one that's of his, his prop. props. Because he has no friends, oh, so no. he needs to use a yeah. mannequin. So that's why he got arrested, because he had a live grenade. No, he got arrested because the mannequin was standing out there with no clothes on. And they're like, what? Like, what is this guy doing at a little boy's birthday party? Oh, so he was getting arrested for that. So he had to quickly switch clothes, put the clothes on the mannequin. Then he quickly realized, wait, now I don't have clothes. So then he had to put the mannequin in the trunk, started driving, got caught with the live grenade because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the prop. He thought the he thought he took the prop to the little boy's birthday party. It was but actually the live it was actually grenade. A live grenade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Was that your <clears throat> scenario too? Yeah, yeah, that's a true story. That that actually happened. That's, that, that was the story. Yeah, we read yeah. the article. Yeah. And uh, big shout out to Lenny McReynolds, who actually got him his first gig as a... Yeah. yeah. As a Navy SEAL. As a Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> he was a recruiter. He was a recruiter. Navy, yeah. He's got three jobs. He's got three, three jobs. jobs. Recruiter, yeah. delivery, guy, delivery guy, and, and uh, Disneyland security. Disneyland and Walt Disney security. <laughs> so, yeah. so. Dis- Disney World is actually pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, Florida. Have you been? Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I, I thought you meant just <laughs> Disneyland in general. <laughs> Disney that would have been a good like oh yeah it is oh have you been no nah, i've heard great stories <laughs> uh-huh. i've heard great things heard great things lenny he, he's talked to lenny yeah, uh, lenny, lenny told lenny. me yeah he said it was fun <laughs> <laughs> he goes on the weekend skips, when his when his security when his security's uh uniform is stolen yeah skips the line all the time how much money do you think it costs to just buy an amusement park for like a day to rent it out no to buy oh, okay, oh yeah to, to rent, rent it, it you just said for a day all right <clears throat> um Look at minimum twenty five thousand. Sorry, my, that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> Look at minimum f- fifty twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand? Mm. You're there, paying for everybody's salary or for everybody's. No, wage. I think they'll just close part of the park for you. Like they won't close the entire park. They'll be like, no. Uh, do you guys want to think about like Disneyland, for example? Let's do Six Flags. Six Flags, twenty five grand. No, I had Disneyland available. It seems a little, a little bit. A hundred thousand dollars. <throat> For the day, I would say that. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars. They could probably. Shoot. I would say like ninety five thousand. I think a hundred thousand is a little outrageous, but ninety five thousand is probably. No, a hundred hundred thousand. <laughs> Just five thousand. Ten thousand dollars off. <laughs> oh no, you said ninety five thousand. Um, <clears throat> it's five thousand dollars off. What Generally, the cost to rent out Six Flags Park for a day is in the range of a hundred to. Okay, so a hundred thousand to, ah, to one million two hundred. What? That's a big scale. That is a big scale. It's because they probably close uh, part of the park cost for you per hour. A hundred thousand per hour. Per hour? That's what it is. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> yeah, a million dollars. So, and you don't even have the whole day. <clears throat> yeah, I looked at a. I'm assuming it's the whole day for for if you probably numbers. hit a million dollars, they'll probably be like, <clears throat> "Look, we'll give you the entire day." That's crazy. That would be crazy, though. I mean, I would obviously spend... Would you ever do it? Like, if you were just billionaire, dark... I would, and I wouldn't rich. even go. Why? Because... <laughs> you, 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 I would go. I would go, but I would just be at the... I'd have all the employees with me at the parking lot. What does that do? Like, <laughs> I won't be alone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There you go. That, that's I didn't think about that. In the because if I'm rich, I'm gonna be alone. And, yeah, obviously. In the general parking, not even the preferred. Oh yeah, yeah. And we're all walking. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's walking oh. in circles. Except <clears throat> me, I have the handicap chair. They yeah. they all follow me, but I'm following them. So it's just a gi- giant circle. Mm. Where's Lenny? Lenny is leading us. <clears throat> <laughs> of course, Navy <laughs> Seal. Navy Seal slash recruiter slash uh, Disneyland employee. Yeah. Let's let's do let's do one more uh, uh, Florida man. <coughs> Pick a random date. <clears throat> let's do um nine like eleven or what what date? Nine <laughs> eleven. Jesus. We'll do uh, March thirtieth. What what's so special about March thirtieth? Hmm. 
Uh, I was. Oops. I Who's this that. little lady? No, no, no. Mm? It was just oh. my swearing date. Ah. <laughs> this guy was swearing that day. <laughs> He's swearing all day. Perfect. Florida man <laughs> accused of attacking mom when she wouldn't dress as mannequin. <laughs> Why are they all mannequins? <laughs> What's dude? with these guys in mannequins? Bro, they love mannequins. <sighs> my gosh. So That's a good one. This man. Yeah. He looks like a Florida man, too. Yeah. Let me see. So yeah, Florida Florida man accused of attacking mom when she wouldn't dress his mannequin. Okay, so Lenny has this weird cousin <laughs> of, the, of like all of his cousins. We'll call him Bobby. Bobby and Bobby. McReynolds. Bobby used to work middle name Billy. Bobby Billy. Bobby Billy. That Last was Bob. Lenny's cousin. Bobby Billy Bob recently got a job. As a security guard at Disneyland mm-hmm. and had to stop doing his part time job getting dressed up as a mannequin. Right. Mm-hmm. So, this guy lost his only employee mm-hmm. that he could dress up as a mannequin. Right. Poor guy. So, or dress. Dress his mannequin. Dress his mannequin. <clears throat> Sorry, and what you know what? Saying. He would probably dress his mannequin as a clown. Yeah. I. Detectives. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm combining things right now. Mm-hmm. So you know the guy with the grenade? Yeah. Yeah. He stole Bobby's mannequin. Wow. And stuck it in his trunk. Mm. Bobby went crazy after him and he pulled out <clears throat> a grenade. A grenade. Live right. grenade. He said, You stay away from my mannequin. It's my mannequin. Bobby starts chasing the guy, but he's not fast enough to catch up to the car. The car makes a turn. Throws His mom has a mannequin. So Bobby has, going back a little bit, Bobby has um, the clothes for the mannequin. Right. So the guy's dri- driving off with the, the mannequin that's now dressed <clears throat> up as a clown, clown with a live grenade. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes a turn. Mom over here has a mannequin as well mm-hmm. for her daughter's party right. that she's going to dress up as a princess. Now, is this Bobby Billy Bob's uh, mom? Or, no. Or Lenny's. No, this is no one's mom. This is no, no one's mom. Noah's mom? Ra- no, this is just no a random, random's mom. No, okay. Random person's mom. We'll Not call Noah. Him. So this guy is chasing. I thought, I thought it was Noah's mom. Bob, Bobby, the guy that got arrested, is chasing the other guy with the live grenade. And he mistakes that <clears> car for a different car, sees the mannequin, tells the woman, put this clothes on the mannequin. It's cold. But his mannequin's in the trunk. Mm-hmm. Of another car, she refuses because that mannequin is for her daughter's birthday party. Right. And then the cops show up. He's arrested. He's he's trying to attack his. He's attacking <clears throat> the mom for not putting the. No, this is Noah's mom, right? No, there no, is no, no Noah. No, not Noah. No well, one. No, Noah was a little boy at the birthday party. N- yes, this is Noah's. Mom. This is Noah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Noah's mom. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> And that's what happened. Nice. And meanwhile, Lenny, the cops didn't oh. show up because they were still chasing the dentist <laughs> from the toothbrushes uh, with the toothbrushes. <clears throat> Is it teeth brushes? No, it's toothbrush. Toothbrushes. Toothbrushes. Well, it's teeth for tooth brush eye. Brush eye. Toothbrush eye. That sounds like a Russian way of saying like your toothbrush. Where's your toothbrush? <clears throat> toothbrush eye. Where's your why to- is tooth- your toothbrush eye? Your toothbrush eye? <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like a vampire. Yeah. Not a, not I want to yeah, suck your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that would like be the dentist. dentist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to brush your teeth. He wants to make your teeth. Mm. Crentis the dentist. Crentis the dentist. All right. We're going to end it there. Um, any last words, guys? Florida men. Florida men. <clears throat> you don't want to be any of them. No. Truly. What about no. women? Florida women. <laughs> next next episode next will be Florida women and oh, what they no. do. That's gonna be. Uh oh. There's gonna be a lot, a lot more live grenades. Lenny's still there though. Lenny's yeah. gonna still show up for those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. We're out of here. Actually, her si- his sister, Lynette. 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 And we out.